Hello everybody. Today I'm showing you an adjust a gate or extend a gate as they're also known. This is the contractor series. My thing is everybody asks, can you build the gate bigger than eight feet, the 96 inches that it's designed for? And yes, you can, but you need to make changes. You need to make the structure to be able to handle the extended weight and load of the fence. This fence has been up for two years with absolutely no problems. All the deck screws all the way across. Make sure you use exterior ex deck screws for attaching everything. I added a wheel, spring-loaded wheel, to carry the extra weight of this entire fence. Luckily, I have a ditch, so I was able to preload the the wheel without any weight on it, then roll it onto the concrete with weight on it, so it works out much better. You will have to go to Home Depot and buy more steel. Yes, it will fit into the concurved pieces that they have designed. I recommend using metal screws. I recommend siliconing or sealing in one way or the other all of the, the holes. Make sure that you're doing the holes on the opposite side that you're doing the wood. So your wood isn't up against the screws. So that way your holes are sealed. Your wood is in place. Make sure you buy exterior grade wood. I put a center board in just as it's supposed to be. Some things I've done that this gate comes with, but I recommend going with stronger strength. First of all, I added a handle. Second of all, I added a gate latch. This gate latch you could buy on Amazon or eBay. Very nice, it bolts right in there just beautifully. You do have some bolts on the other side, so it's very, very strong. The latch, as you see, works beautifully. You can lock it here, or you can lock it here, either side. It works out great. Make sure you put a stopper so when the fence closes, it hits something solid, top and bottom. That way your fence doesn't rock too much. I recommend changing the wire. Make sure you're using a more heavy gauged wire. The original hooks that came with the device work just fine. I put these in just so it doesn't rub up and down on the wood and chafe the wood because I stained everything and sealed it. Make sure you're using plenty of pieces to reinforce it. You've got your adjustable piece. You will definitely need to change the hinges. I went with a much heavier duty hinge. The thing is to make sure you buy the exterior pieces if you can find them. These were the original, so because I was using the original, I had to make sure that I bought the pins that fit, but much heavier duty, much better support strength. I would bought another one, but I never got around to installing the piece on here to insert it. The bottom piece, again, very heavy duty. Um, so if you want to extend it, go to Home Depot, you buy your bars. I added two feet here, two feet there, two feet here, two feet there. It comes with, you know, the extended part of the gate is here. So I extended it here, extended it there, extended it here and extended it there. I screwed everything into place, sealed everything use the wood as it's supposed to be. Everything's used with bolts all the way through. I recommend using bolts whenever possible all the way through to support your project. You do not want to be using bolts that could be yanked out of the wood over time, especially for exterior. As you can see, these are bolted. These pieces here are also bolted. You can't see them. Like I said, I did this two years ago, so See. It works real great. Grab it by the handle. Bring it over. That's a solid gate. Nice and noisy. I put some charms on it just to make some noise over here in case someone tries to climb it. Yeah, there's a ditch in the middle, but I put some piece of wood and some stepping stones there just to keep the dog from getting out. But again, yes, you can 
extendigate or adjustigate longer than it needs to be. But you need to make some changes. You need heavier duty wire, you need more metal, and you need stronger hinges. Okay, everybody.